gonna say today, hence the heat and the uh, warrior marks. Oh, well, how come I haven't got with it? I remember back in the good old days, we had hand muffs as well. Now, we, now I've only got ear muffs and I can't hear a thing I'm saying. So if I say anything wrong or right or indifferent or improper, who gives up? Not me. <laughs> okay, welcome to Diva Du Jour, your daily aspects and influences for Wednesday, the 4th of August, 2010. So 4836, a waning moon in Taurus. Bring forward your sensuality. Sing a song or two in the garden. Oh, oh there! I know why I didn't want to hear. It's a great day to change the garden and yard around. Digging and pig rooting is the go. Now, darlings, that sounds like hard work to me, and I don't like hard work. I'm too old for it anyway. I've only got a few more sleeps to me birthday, and I'm not pigging, pig rooting and digging in the garden. And, and my husband said, really, I'm wearing these. So I don't have to hear what he's yelling at me. He said to me, nobody's going to understand what pig rooting is. Would you all put your hands up if you understand what pig rooting is? Pig rooting is when pigs root in the garden. They dig with their little hoofies like this. Pig rooting. And it means that we as adults can go into our garden with our knives or our, uh, not our knives, our... Uh, See, I don't even know what you use in the garden. Forks. Your big root. Or you get your thingo and your... Or your whatever you do anyway. And I'm not doing any of that. But that's a good day for doing it if you've got a garden. If you've got your own veggie garden, it would be good to eat them raw. Oh. So all we need is raw vegetables. I love raw vegetables. Some carrots. Baby carrots are all beautiful. So if, you can, if you've got any of the... And little tomatoes off your little bush you've grown. How wonderful. It's also a good day to sweep up the leaves, organise the compost. Be outside if you can. Now, if it's 100 degrees in the shade or it's one degree below zero, not a good idea. So you do have to assess your situation. So what am I going to say for you to do? Everyone, if you know, put your hands up. Yeah, I can see all the hands going up. You can visualise your garden in your mind and act accordingly. Now, I haven't heard a thing I've said, so I hope I've said it in context. I hope I've said it okay, and if I haven't, too bad. Let's see what the cards say. <laughs> the cards are saying, the first card here is the card of the sun. We're in the sun time now, the timing of Leo. So, all of this is a very good time for you to do anything. This... Woohoo! This is the 12th card, the Hara Arcana. This is the card that I say symbolises me. I think this is about me. Back to me, back to me, it's all about me. Because guess what? I'm born on the 12th of August, the 12th of the sun. I see these two cards as symbolic to me. Or any other of you Leos out there born on the 12th of August, put your hands in the air. Let do the hula hula and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Oh, do the hokey. Oh, sorry, I got a bit carried away. I'm back, I'm back. There could be lots of people to enjoy yourself with today. You need to get out there. Now, the other scary thing that's happened to me here that I can't hear, this is the card of the Leo. It's the strength card. It's the card that comes when it says we need to use a bit of reverse psychology on ourselves and have unconditional love for ourselves and others and we're going to have safe passage as an end result. So I'm going to have to listen to this back because I'm a bit deaf in the left ear and the right one's not much better. But whatever I've said, it's for the betterment of you and me and everyone else who crosses our pathway, have a great day today, darling. I'm a bit silly today, but you know, sometimes you've got to make a bit of a joke, even when your heart is breaking. No, my heart's not breaking, dear, but I'm, I'm just happy. And so it is. Bye now. <laughs>